It was a sad coincidence of Hurricane Sandy that so many New York City art galleries should reside in low-lying areas. The Brooklyn Waterside Artists Coalition in Red Hook always drew inspiration from their proximity to the Upper Bay. On Monday, October 29th, they met with destruction instead. We're in the ground floor of our gallery at 499 Van Brunt Street, which we've had shows here for the last 20 years. Sandy came through and washed to this height, right up here. And everything in the background was washed away. We expect that the loss would probably have cost seventy or eighty thousand dollars to replace. Luckily, a large number of this has been the labor of volunteers, which is getting our cost down to more than the thirty thousand dollar range. Just after the hurricane hit, uh, we had really an army of people here, in fact, including the Army Reserve itself. Um, and um, the place was just full of people tearing out sod and sheetrock and carting out to the street and so forth. The, we basically lost all the walls, all the fixtures here for the show. All the sheetrock you see around here has all been replaced because it was totally damaged and destroyed. It, it's unlike anything I've certainly seen in my lifetime. I arrived in New York when I was 17 in state, and I'm now 58, and I've certainly never seen anything like this. And I'm sure I don't have anybody else who's seen this in their lifetimes either. Uh, on the first Saturday afterwards, we had over 100 people here helping us tear out and throw away and get rid of all the damaged materials. On the following Sunday, it was probably down to 50, and then it's been decreasing ever since. Well, to be quite honest, the first turnout of supporters was just heartwarming to see so many people coming out to help, many of which had been here to our shows because we've been here for 20 years. And we really felt good about the way they turned out to help us get back on our feet. But it's going to be a long road back. It's going to be a very, very, very uh, profound struggle. It's going to take years, and uh, some good things will come out of it, I hope. One of them will be uh, that the city will be more conscious of the uh, uh, threats from storms uh, in the future as the climate is changing. Uh, so those are the you know, silver linings. The Brooklyn Recovery Fund recognized the immense need for aid in Red Hook last week when it awarded Red Hook Initiative, a local charity at the forefront of Sandy Recovery, a grant of $100,000 to help get neighborhood organizations like BWAC back on track. The money will help fund projects at 120 locations in the neighborhood, all still in need of help.